marble tracks will be the fastest. I guess it's time to take some measurements. Today we're talking about scale, proportion, and quantity. Quantity is an amount or number. Proportion is the size, number, or amount of a thing or a group of things compared to another thing or group. The proportion of apples to oranges is two to one. Scale is the size of one object in relation to other objects. What you and I see or experience, we do so at the human scale. Now there are things that are too small to see, like stuff that happens at microscopic levels, or too fast for us to see, like a balloon popping. And then there are things that happen too slowly, like the formation of mountains, or that are too big for us to see, like the universe. But with the right tools, we can. Scale helps us gain an understanding of the world. It helps us identify what is bigger and smaller and how much bigger and how much smaller. Without it, you wouldn't know what you're looking at. And by using special tools, like this magnifying glass, we're able to collect information and make comparisons. These tools give us units of measure. They give us quantity. If I wanted to know how hot my tea was, I could use this thermometer. Thermometers tell us the temperature of things. If I wanted to know how much this blue whale weighs, I would use a whale scale. Weight scales tell us how much something weighs, like this apple. Then there is height. Height tells us the vertical distance from the top of an object to the bottom of an object. If I wanted to measure how much my plant was growing each day, I could use a ruler. If you wanted to know your height, you could measure yourself in inches and feet by using a tape measure. Measurements tell us the distance between objects, even how fast something is moving. Let's look at these marble runs. I set up each of these marble tracks at a different height. Now, the same marble went the same distance each time, but the speed increased the taller the blocks got. That's because the ratio or proportions changed. The increased distance from the table to the top of the track also increased the gravitational pull. The further away the marble got, the more potential energy it had, which increased its speed. Science, baby! Understanding proportion and quantity helps us know how much of whatever, of anything, of everything. It helps us make predictions about things like speed, weight, and distance, and so much more. And scale helps us understand objects and events in terms of time, energy, and size. And understanding scale helps us create better system models, which help us explain and share information about big systems like the universe, and tiny ones too, like the cells in our bodies. At the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, you can imagine how important proportion and quantity are. Like knowing how the peak hours of energy consumption allows for them to allocate the necessary proportion of electricity to the grid throughout the day. And tracking the quantity of water in our reservoirs ensures that we'll have enough to meet our needs. But what about scale? Well, are you kidding me? The LADWP is all about scale. They handle two enormous systems that provide essential services to millions of people. So just imagine the size of some of the things that they work with. Wait, you don't have to imagine. I can show you. There's high tension towers, wind turbines, transformers, fields of solar panels, huge spools of cable and pipes, lots and lots and lots, lots of pipes, really, really big ones. And it's critical that they line up precisely, which means that the plans and the construction have to be exact. Remember all that measuring we were talking about? So if you've got an eye for detail, maybe you should be a part of something big at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. Learn more at ladwp.com forward slash careers.